Good afternoon. I am Aura B. Douglas, International Program Chairman for Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, serving as your moderator. On today, AKA Caregivers Day, each year Alpha Kappa Alpha recognizes caregivers and encourages them to practice self-care. This evening, our focus for caregivers is on health and nutrition. On behalf of our partners, AARP, and all of us research program, I am honored to welcome you to an afternoon of health and nutrition in which I'm sure you will certainly enjoy. We would like for you to complete a brief survey so we can learn more about your experience and knowledge about the All of Us Research program prior to this event. Your responses will be kept confidential and secure. The link to take the survey is in the chat box. For the host organization, select Black Greek Letter Consortium, BGLC, HBC Orgs. Now I would like to introduce you to the international president of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated and president of Tennessee C State University, Dr. Glenda Glover. Greetings and thank you for attending the Alpha Kappa Alpha Health and Nutrition Webinar to observe our third annual AKA Caregivers Impact Day. I'd like to extend a special thank you to our partners, All of Us Research Program, AARP, and celebrity chef, Daniel Thomas. The goal of the AKA Caregiver Program is to raise national awareness regarding the impact of caregiver stress on the quality of health of caregivers, especially African-American women. According to the Family Caregiver Alliance, women make up 66% of caregivers, although men also provide assistance. Female caregivers may spend as much as 50% more time providing care than male caregivers. One study found that one third of working women decreased work hours. Over fourth passed up on a job promotion or training or assignments. One fifth switched from full-time to part-time employment or even quit their jobs and retired early. These are alarming statistics for women who make up 66% of caregivers and spend so much time taking care of others that they neglect their own health and well-being. This is true especially during the Thanksgiving holiday where the celebration is mostly centered around delicious meal preparation. During this Thanksgiving season, we sometimes encounter added stress and this has become a reality for many, especially caregivers who are already burdened by the challenges of their role to care for their loved ones. As we prepare to recognize this holiday, especially since it centers around nutrition, I wanted to provide a meaningful way to focus on an alternative to the traditional laborious meal preparation during this season. I'm sure you will enjoy the healthy, nutritious meal preparation by Chef Daniel Thomas, and I welcome you to this webinar. I encourage each of you to be careful and stay safe during this extraordinary season. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Dr. Glover, for that wonderful greeting. Next, we will have Andrea Daniels, a member of the Alpha Kappa Alpha International Program Committee, and Andrew will speak about the All of Us Research Program. Alpha Kappa Alpha has always been on the forefront of health program implementation, from the Mississippi Health Project during the Depression to the first sorority mammogram screening bus under the Excellence Administration. And now, Alpha Kappa Alpha has joined the Black Greek Letter Consortium to educate our communities on precision medicine research. It's time to be seen. 
Our backgrounds, lifestyles, and genes play important roles in our health. By studying these factors, researchers may find ways to improve health for you, your family, and future generations. President Obama launched the Precision Medicine All of Us Initiative on January 30th, 2015. The goal of the All of Us Research Program is to advance precision medicine so that researchers may find ways to tailor medical care toward African Americans and other underrepresented groups in medical research. Participants answer health surveys, some donate DNA samples, others their electronic health records. It's up to you what and how much you share. They also use the latest technology to help keep your data private. It's time to be seen. Let's represent our family and community in health research by participating in the All of Us Research Program. Our health info may help in change the future of health for generations to come. Sign up now at joinallofus.org. This is Tom Joyner. We're still learning about COVID-19, but one thing we do know, African-Americans have been disproportionately affected, which makes our involvement in health research key. By participating in the All of Us Research Program, we can help drive research for COVID-19 and other conditions, even from home. Now more than ever, our participation can play a role in improving the health of our communities. Research is hope, and it's fueled by you. Find out more at joinallofus.org slash Tom. Thank you so much. And we are looking forward to many of you signing up and joining the All of Us Research Program. We are so very proud to partner with AARP on this Caregivers Impact Day. We will now hear from Shaney Holston, Vice President of Multicultural Leadership for AARP. Hello, everyone. Dr. Glenda Glover, 30th International President and CEO of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, members of the Alpha Mess Research Team, and all those joining this evening. On behalf of AARP, I bring heartfelt greetings. I'm Shani Haston, and I'm a proud member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, and I'm also blessed to serve as Vice President of Multicultural Leadership at AARP, leading our African American and Black strategy work. We are proud of ARP's longstanding partnership with Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated and your incredible work that's being done to impact communities across the country. We also recognize the tremendous efforts that the All of Us Research Program currently has underway to aid in helping to drive better health outcomes for all communities. AARP is grateful for the opportunity this evening to continue to collaborate on tonight's Caregivers Impact Day virtual event. Many things have changed in 2020, but one thing that has not changed is our commitment to service. AARP is committed to multicultural outreach and value partners like Alpha Kappa Alpha Sword Incorporated. We recognize that we can't do it alone, and I encourage you all to look for potential connections to work on joint programs with AARP in your respective states to help those that are 50 and older live longer, healthier, and even more productive lives as we all age. AARP has been working to promote the health and well-being of older Americans for over 60 years. In this virtual environment, AARP has been hosting webinars, town hall meetings, and providing engaging content like our Real Conversations with series on Facebook Live. We have upcoming guests like B.B. Winans, Cheryl Lee Ralph, and Marvin Sapp right before the holidays. So please join us if you haven't had a chance on our AARP Black Community page on Facebook to join in the conversation. We're excited to collaborate on today's healthy cooking demonstration with celebrity chef Daniel Thomas. And we're looking forward to learning how we can incorporate health and nutrition into our holiday season. Thank you, Chef Daniel Thomas, for your outstanding commitment to changing one life at a time through your amazing work and extraordinary meals. And thank you to the millions of family caregivers for everything you do to care for yourself and others and your loved ones. 
please be sure to visit our website at aarp.org backslash caregiver for additional resources and support. Enjoy the experience and bon appetit. Right now, AARP's work is more important than ever. We hear older Americans loud and clear, and that's why we fight for what they and their families need. Access to health care, affordable prescription drugs, opportunities to save for the future, ending age discrimination, a healthy, financially secure, fulfilling life. That's what AARP fights for because that's what everyone deserves. Join us in fighting for what's right. Well, we've heard the introductions. Now we are ready for the moment we have all been waiting for. It's time to be entertained and learn how to cook a delicious and nutrition meal that is stress-free for the holidays. I know I could use that. Welcome celebrity chef Daniel Thomas. He is chef, he is cookbook author, he is a philanthropist. Welcome, Chef Daniel Thomas. Welcome to DC, welcome to LA, welcome to New York, welcome to Chicago, welcome America. I'm Chef Daniel Thomas. I've cooked for the U.S. Congress, senators, foreign presidents, prime ministers, and our own U.S. presidents, too. From the Obamas, the Reagan family, the Clintons, the Kennedys have also been turned on to my brew. From the Democrats to the Republicans, and everything in between, I've had the world's most powerful appetites, if you know what I mean. I've cooked for celebrities, athletes, executives, and producers, satisfying pilots from organic to comfort food. The feedback is the same everywhere I go. Amazing, delectable, sexy, nutritious, what did you put in this chef is on repeat as my record will show. Healthy is not all that I do, but I sure will introduce you to an enticing world of recipes while keeping that waistline in view. I will bring along some of my famous friends, athletes, politicians, and all, but no political talk here, only food talk will be involved. There will be cooking competitions among comedians, talk show hosts, top chefs, and children. We'll feed the troops and pay homage to the veterans. Then we'll head to Louisiana and I'll show you my Zatarans, red beans and rice, baby. Mm -mm -mm. Now there's more to me than cooking. I play the drums, piano, organ, and the bass. I serenade as I marinate. Would you like a taste? On this show, activation and stage, late night meets Chef Daniel Thomas. And within this world, we'll have a full audience of the best fans getting music from musical geniuses, possibly coming from The Roots or the Bruno Mars Band. I will show you how to make sexy soups, sauce salads, lobsters and steaks, from fine dining with caviar to just some good old twice bakes. We will pan sear sea scallops, saute shrimp, wild mushrooms, and sweet corn. We will even grill organic vegetables like a spoon corn. Mm -mm -mm. Now come go to the next food level with me. We're turning up the heat. Let's cook, let's talk, let's eat, let's dance, hey, and let's go. This is not just a Chef Thomas experience. Welcome to the Chef Daniel Thomas Show. How are you? It's so good to see Ora, thank you so much for the amazing uh, introduction. You doing okay? Doing great, uh -oh, Chef. Oh, it seems like she might be frozen. Oh, good, good, good. Well, it's so good to see you. I just want to say welcome to everybody. Welcome to the 2020 uh, AK Caregivers Impact. I'm Thomas, and I'll be your host and your chef tonight as I get ready to tell Tantalize your taste to cook, how to make things delicious, tasty, and make sure you are eating the way that you're supposed to be eating. But I promise you, it's going to be fun, exciting, and enticing. So without further ado, I want to just make sure we pay our respects first uh, because it's going to get hot. So I'm just letting you guys know this is gone. I just want to show you guys some festive uh, holiday cheer. It's, uh, but I wanted to say hello. So first, I want to make out to the international president of the Alpha Capital by Alpha Forty in Glenda Glover. So make sure you give her a hand, a round of applause. Ah, thank you so much, thank you so much. Well, it's so good to see you all. I also have to do a quick roll call because this is not just uh, Alpha uh, Kappa Alpha, uh, this is also the Divine Nine. 
they are in charge of it and they are the ones uh, who will put this thing on. So first, before I even do the roll call, uh, to the amazing uh, Shaney Holston from AA Introduction and also their president and CEO, uh, Ann Jenkins of AARP. So hello, good to see you guys, hope all is well. Um, now, for the roll call, I gotta make sure. So to all the ladies of the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, make some noise, I can hear it right, right now. <laughs> now, my dad, who I miss so much, but she passed up. He was a part of the A5, the Alpha Phi Alpha Incorporated, showing some love to the Alpha men. Also, we have to show some love to the, 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 the dogs. We got to show some love to the Omega Phi, uh, Phi Psi men. Um, yeah, Psi Phi men. Showing love to that one um, uh, who was also watching. Hey, Mom, how are you doing? Um, she is a Delta and part of the Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Then to the men, Fraternity Incorporated, the Phi Beta Sigma men, the Zeta Phi Beta women, the Sigma Gamma Rho women, and the Iotas, welcome, welcome, and everybody else. Am I in a fraternity? I am me, Phi, me, Jeff. So uh, I'll be showing you easy recipes today, um, and I'll be sending you guys recipes today. Uh, so first, uh, hello. Hey, mom, how are you? To all my family, uh, grandma, and I want to tell you a story even before I start. So definitely giving love. Uh, Baby KG, hey, everybody, and also my grandmother and my aunt. Uh, uh, so because this is caregiving, I want to make sure I had a conversation with you all. Caregiving is very, very important to me. Uh, as busy as a lot of you all know that I am, I'm a caregiver. Um, there's not a president or senator in the world that would take me away from taking my family. And it was in my life, uh, named Marcia, who is blind, I'm her caregiver, and I take care of her, I haven't been for years, uh, as well as my family. I wanna say shout out to her. Uh, people don't understand this to be a caregiver. And not just if you have AIDS, if you don't have AIDS, uh, it's an emotional roller coaster because you have to put your feelings to the side. So I want to truly say um, happy caregiving uh, day, month, year to all of you all because uh, it's definitely not just a, it's a, it's a year. It's 24 seven, you have to be on. And I love it, I enjoy it. Uh, it's not something that I take lightly, it's a right. And so my dad, who uh, in uh, 2017, we found out, 2017, right? Uh, 2017, um, I actually took off work for a couple of years um, and traveled with him around the world to look for a cure. Uh, and we traveled the world, ended up at Indy Anderson. And unfortunately we did find a cure as I was his caregiver, uh, um, but so I promised my mom, okay, all right, I, I promise you, let me just breathe, <laughs> we can breathe, <laughs> uh, the fellas are laughing at me, it's okay, so I just wanted to say, um, it's an honor to be a caregiver, um, you, I, I don't take it lightly at all, and so uh, without further ado, uh, let's get started, and so I want to make sure that we, uh, so now that that's out the way, I hope I didn't leave anybody out. If I did, I, I, I apologize for all looking out there. Uh, I want to give a special shout out to our military here and around the world who are uh, tuning in. I know about 50 of them that are tuning in. So shout out to you all who are taking care of us. We don't take that up lightly as well because you all are our caregivers. So shout out to the military uh, as well because uh, we would not be safe if it wasn't for you all um, taking care of us and, and our men and women in uniform. So. Thank you so much. I also have, uh-oh, a cookbook. Yes, I'm an author. Recipes for a New You, Healthy Eating at Its Best. Uh, you can find this online. I, I know some thousands of people who are watching right now, but I only, uh-oh, he's, he's getting the close-up. <laughs> uh, I only have about uh, 200 left. So uh, chefdanielwthomas.com, chefdaniel. W. Thomas said, I was Googleable, so if you Google Chef Daniel Thomas, um, you'll find it. So um, I just want to let you guys know that. So let's get easy set of recipes uh, for you today. At the holidays, uh, I want to make sure that you all feel that, that are comfortable. So because of the holidays, it's very, very tough to uh, have uh, 
Thanksgiving dinner because we're in the middle of a pandemic. And we're going to talk about the pandemic and how you can stay safe even during this tumultuous law are taken care of from that standpoint. So make sure that don't crowd together. And the reason why is because right now we are in a situation where we are dying at a disproportionate rate. And when I say we, all people, Americans, foreign, we're all dying at a disproportionate rate. Really dying are African Americans. And the reason is because we have underlying health issues that are destroying us. Obesity, high blood pressure, high sodium. You know, we eat craziest things. For me personally, I shop on the outside of the perimeter of the grocery store because everything on the in, inside of the uh, aisles are stuff that has so many preservatives. And, and uh, for today, I'm going to show you how to make food that's just delicious. I have some sweet potatoes. I have Brussels sprouts of garlic and onion and a little bit of, little bit of razzle and dazzle. I have get my, my sweet potatoes, sauteed green beans with this asparagus, garlic and herb roasted, uh, red blitz potatoes. We're getting ready to meal today. So without further ado, if you guys are ready, hold on. Somebody is in my, I just got a call just now. Hold on. Hold on. Uh-oh. Somebody called me on my phone just now. Hello? Oh, say hello to the group. Of course you can. They're going to love it. Uh-oh. Who is this? Ladies and gentlemen, I have a surprise for you guys. Did you guys think that you were just kidding me? No, this is going to be live. This is Chef Daniel Live. It's going to be exciting. I have Grammy Award winning artist, the amazing, my client, my friend, my family, the Regina Bell. Show your love, everybody. Show your Regina. Hey, hey, there she hey. is. What's going on, Regina? Oh, hey. How you doing, Chef hey. D? I'm doing fantastic. How are you? I am doing wonderful. It is so good to see you in your element. Oh, oh I'm in my element. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to my studio. Exciting. Uh, you doing okay? I heard that you are. Uh, you, matter of fact, everybody, listen up. Last night, she put on a show. Oh, my gosh. For AARP Atlanta. And it went, it went nationwide. And she killed it. It was the best show I've seen. And make sure y'all follow Regina Bell. Did you enjoy yourself yesterday? I absolutely did. I always do, though. Um, and as you know, as a musician, to have an opportunity to work, uh, that was pretty amazing. So I was really, really glad to. And it's uh, National Caregivers Month. So uh, the concert was certainly dedicated to all the caregivers out there, and, uh, like yourself and myself. How about that? Yeah. Because because we know you're a care about stuff prep. Tell us a little bit, you know, tell us about your caregiving experience. Because, I mean, if, if you can do it, anybody can do it. I mean, you travel, uh, and this is pre-pandemic. You've been a caregiver for some time. You travel yeah. uh, everywhere and your shows and the whole nine yards uh, and you're married and you're a minister and, and you're in school. school. And, <laughs> and should I keep going? I mean, <laughs> and I'm <laughs> Lord and Jesus, I so tell me, how, how do you do it? <laughs> um, I, I have to tell you, I'm making I, I, up I'm as I go. To you, you right now. Mm -hmm. I make it up as wow. I go. It, it's not anything that you can read a book for. Um, I I have to say that I'm not doing it by myself. Um, I, I know what my village's greatest assets are. You know, from my children to my husband. To my church family, even my manager, Ivy Taylor, everybody, my mom, everybody plays a role in You're what it is that they do best. So I don't do everything, um, but I'm able to do what I do because mm -hmm. all of us work collectively together. Wow. Wow. Well, so, 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 so we're touring been, I mean, you know, during the pandemic, there's no touring. A lot more. How, has, how has it been? <laughs> no, there's no touring. There's virtual touring. I, I'm, I'm so saying, are you virtual? Are you, are you there virtual touring? <laughs> there's no touring, honey. There's, there's virtual touring. I've been to Africa. Let me see. I've been no, to. No, I was saying, I say touring virtually. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I've been a few places. So I'm excited about that. 
um, that I'm still able to work. Um, uh, so I've been a few places. I've, uh, I, as I said, I've been to Africa. I've been to Detroit. I've been to, um, I don't know where else have I been, Ivy. I'm not sure, <laughs> but I've been a few places. And, You've been everywhere. Uh, yeah, kind of been everywhere. And, you know, having concerts that stream live, uh, give me an opportunity to be accessed, okay. uh, Alaska. Uh, um, they give me an opportunity to be accessed not just in the state in which I'm uh, performing for, but you know when you stream live, it gives an opportunity for you to be everywhere. So last night gave me an opportunity to not just be um, nationwide, but you know it was an international thing as well. Oh wow, wow, wow! Well, I was wondering, would, would you mind uh, cooking two dishes with me before you head out? I would love to, you know, that's why I love to be in the kitchen, but I really uh, love being in your kitchen. You, you, you love in the kitchen. <laughs> come on, come on. We, we've been, we've been uh, taking care of time and you, you came with me, you even uh, to CBC. I've been with you on tour, uh, making sure that yes. I had tea for you. So today, uh, I want wait, to wait, wait, can I tell you with you, Annabelle, can, uh, you can I tell your fans that it's because of you that I love kale now. <laughs> Make sure y'all know. Woo! <laughs> we do kale with saute onions and garlic, a little bit of white wine. Yes. And we cooked it down just a little bit. And she bit it the first time. And she said, Jesus. I said, oh, no, I'm Daniel. I'm chef. No, I said, <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's like so, 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 so I appreciate <laughs> you know, you, hey, you got a call on them. So, so, so today, I, I we're gonna with you, I'm gonna do a honey infused uh sweet potato. So, a lot of times we're in during Thanksgiving time, masks, and we add whole sticks of butter, sugar. Uh, so this is gonna be just a little my version of that, which is just a little different, which I think is, it, it tastes phenomenal. It's healthier. It's 85% uh, less sugar. Um, and we're adding more flavors. Uh, I have some pecans. Th those are optional that you don't have to add. So the first thing I'm going to do is, ladies and gentlemen, is a uh, cube sweet potatoes. Now you see, I have all of them uh, chopped up in the same size. So whatever size you're going to do, it's okay. Just make sure they're uh, pretty much in the same size. So, so I have my my sweet potatoes here, and then I'm going to add some of my cinnamon. Mm. Praise the Lord for some cinnamon. Come on, cinnamon. All right. Cinnamon here. We have Is that Saigon cinnamon? cinnamon? Nutmeg. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Nutmeg. And then I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to make sure that we do a little bit of it. It just helps open up all the flavors. That's going to make it so fantastic. So that I'm adding in there just now. And so... Uh, the other thing is honey, but if, if anybody's ever had uh, vanilla where there's liquid vanilla instead of vanilla bean, it tastes terrible without a sweetener in it. When you put it with like ice cream, when you make ice cream with it, vanilla ice cream, which I love, uh, it, it, it tastes fantastic. By itself, it's very, very bitter. So I'm going to add this in here uh, in just a little bit of, and I'll also send the recipes to you. So no more than a pinch of vanilla. You don't need a whole lot. And so... Then I have some herb oil here. You can use just regular oil, so uh, grapeseed oil. Uh, and in here is just a little bit of garlic, rosemary, thyme, um, and sage to give it that Thanksgiving flavor. And I add, add the sage in here to me. So when you're dancing and stuff like that, and you do like that, that kickback, did I do it? Did, did, I, did I make it? <laughs> <Did you see> <laughs> I saw you. I, I'm watching you. I am watching you. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So... I have that, and then, uh, so my herb oil, just a little bit of herb oil um, in there, and then I'm going to hit it with some honey. So I have honey. Now this is just a squeeze bottle of honey. Um, it's not doing anything, uh, but I just wanted to give it just a little bit of love here. Chef, yeah. let now, me ask now you. Now the honey, the reason why I put, kind of honey is that? yeah. This is uh, all organic, natural honey. Now. Uh, make sure you understand this for diabetics. Uh, let's just make sure, because I want to make sure we talk about the healthy living side. Make sure about this. For diabetics, honey is, has, is sugar. Let's make sure it's just a different form of sugar. 
but it does with diabetics. Just utilize it and watch it. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of salt, just a pinch of salt, um, a pinch of pepper. And then I'm going to get my spoon, uh, stir it up, give it a toss, toss. Now, now, I'm adding, I'm adding pecans. Now, I love pecans. They have some protein in them. And I'm also adding raisins. The reason why I'm yeah. adding pecans and raisins is with a nice nutty flavor that gives it like that nice fall kind of flavor. Yes. But then I'm raisins, which is going to help with adding a little bit more sugar to it without adding raw sugar. It's like for me drinking soda, you have to be careful because it's like an empty calorie. If I'm going to, instead of raw sugar, at least let it add some, uh, some, some earth to it. And it also helps with the tech. Uh, this is very, very exciting. So, so I'm going to chef, put you right here. You do agave um, in place of honey if, uh, because I'm told that agave doesn't spike um, for diabetics. Yes, because no, it does not spike for diabetics. That's also a natural agave. Uh, so, so quick uh, history. Uh, I love teaching. So, when it comes down to it, uh, consider grains. So if you eat whole grain, when you go buy bread and it says multi-grain, I tell people grain because multi-grain is not whole grain. Okay? And I'm gonna give you the analogy of why I'm using this because what okay. happens is uh, they take a grain and then they break it all the way down into the smallest form, which pretty much makes it non-nutritional anymore. So it's pretty wow. much just a gimmick where they just toss a bunch of nuts that they've chopped down and put on the crust. And now you're wondering why you still have the same weight. It's not going anywhere. You're wondering why you're not getting the grain that the doctor tells you to get, whole grains. The reason why I say that is because it be natural. If you do not get it in this natural sense, then you do you, you they cut it where then they're also adding high fructose corn syrup. So make sure that when you read it, read the labels of it to make sure that it's natural agave and that, that you're um, getting the best agave that you can get. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, so <laughs> this is done. Now, what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to put this in the oven uh, for 350 degrees for about 27 minutes. So because this is TV and I have a short period of time, uh, we're going to do this here. And uh-oh. This is TV. <laughs> Mm -mm. It just came out. I just magic. I, 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 I couldn't magic. see it, Regina. So, <laughs> so I do that all here. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Go dish just so you guys can see. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna now that's your sweet potato dish. So instead of you doing it, and so I'm going to just add a little uh, sexiness to it, and add a couple extra raisins to go on top. And you do not want to put the raisins in the oven because it'll char them too much. Okay. So make sure in the oven, okay? And so I'm at um, here, but to really give it like that nice razzle dazzle, and it's just oh my lord! Are you ready? So here yes. we go. Here we go. Just show you guys. Yes. Ooh, yes. Yes. Just praise them right now. Just praise. Him right now. I just ran Ross Shad all over the sweet potato. Did you, did you catch it? <laughs> Go ahead, take a lap, Regina. Go ahead. You know what? Oh, oh are you ready? Are you ready for my cheese in this? You know, I, you, you know, when I made that just now, yeah, you know, it's I coming. Felt that. I felt that. Do, do you know what I gave you just now? What I gave what you, you gave a whole new world. <laughs> Lord, I can't sing, ladies and gentlemen. I, th don't laugh at me, Regina. I try. I'm a musician, I but I can't sing. Lord, I never knew. But now from away of here, it's crystal clear that now we're in a whole new world with Chef D. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Jenna, Jenna Bell. Woo. Did you catch oh my it? gosh. Yeah. 
People, I'm look ready. out. Uh-uh. That, oh, that just blessed my soul. Aladdin <laughs> wasn't ready for that. Ooh. <laughs> say that, oh, that, and before we get to this next one, I just want to say that that really opened the door for so many singers uh, with that because the glass ceiling uh, with the box office hit uh, with, during that movie. Uh, so if you all are trying to figure out that song that she was singing, A Whole New World, I know most of yeah, you I know it, but the ones who like, I know that song. Remember the song which the, 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 the princess was flying on the carpet and then she was like, you know, A Whole New World. Dang, Shafty. <laughs> don't, don't judge me. I, I, I Come on. I, don't play. I... No, nah, I can't sing. I can't sing, y'all. Uh, so real quick, uh, before you go, I, I wanted to just do one more with you. And I wanted to try to keep it simple. Uh, Brussels sprouts, Regina? Oh, my God. I love Brussels sprouts. Yeah. So I'm going to do Brussels sprouts for you real quick. Okay. And I'm just going to show you to do them, to add, like, some extra flavor. I like to have, like, the chips. So... So I have get my get my container here. Um, uh oh, I'm gonna have man down. And FYI, before you know, just just so y'all know, um, I know you guys are looking. I only have I know some. I think we're at twenty something thousand. I think it's more than twenty thousand. I only have two hundred books left. Um, Chef Daniel Thomas, Chef Daniel W Thomas dot com, Chef Daniel W Thomas dot com, um, and then on the website you can click the book. That's where you find it. Uh, healthy eating and all these dishes are in it. So. Um, I'm so again, sorry, sure. he, so, has 99. he doesn't have 200. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. Well, I mean, you don't need the cookbook, you got the chef. <laughs> so, I, it's, always good uh, yeah. have a little, yeah. it's always good to have a strategy book on the side when I'm talking to my coach. It's, all, it's always you're right, you're right, you're right. Um, so here we go. So, I'm gonna show you the next dish. So, uh, I love Brussels sprouts now, growing up. Uh, my dad was my caregiver. <laughs> he was my parent, uh, and my mom, and they set me on a stool and they talked to me and they said, you're not leaving the table and to eat the Brussels sprouts. Um, yeah, it didn't go well. Uh, I said, they said, I'll take the, take, take the whipping. I'll take the whipping for 500, Alex. Uh, <laughs> Lord, nobody Jesus, wants, it was so. I, nobody I, wants I, the small I, cabbages. Look, <laughs> yeah, uh, it was like these are disgusting. And the way that my dad, no, my chef, and the way that they did it was just like, like this was not one of his signature moments in the kitchen. <laughs> he the one that showed me how to cook, but this was not one of his signature moments. In the kitchen. I just want to shout out to your mom. You, I'm just mom. My mom can't cook. Pray, praise the Lord. Her mama can cook, <laughs> but my mom. I'm cooking cook. cook. Just being real, you know? You she can't cook, you know? You and she'll tell you. She'll tell you. <laughs> Sorry, my mom can't cook. And so because she can't cook, um, uh, I'm going to leave it at that. You know, um, so real quick, uh, so they, they used to boil, and, and I don't want to get in trouble later on. You know, I'm going to hear about it. I make you some pancakes like. later, Mom. Um, so with the Brussels sprouts, uh, I know, right? I don't want to have to steam and boil Brussels sprouts because it makes it uh, very, very nasty. Um, so uh, I have, so what I did was I washed them and then I these leaves fall off. Now, these leaves are fantastic. Make sure you do not, um, these are fantastic. The leaves really, 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 uh, I call those the, the Brussels chips, you know, because they're like potato chips. They crisp up real, real nice. Yes. And they're fantastic. Yes. Uh, a little bit of uh, red onion. That I julienne just now. Uh, that I julienne just now, and then I also have have uh, thyme that I'm putting in here. So I have a little bit of uh, thyme um, that I'm tossing in there. Uh, I'm also going to do herbs de Provence, which is herbs de Provence. Uh, some people, some friends of mine, they um, yeah, you that. guys know who you are. Uh, but uh, but it's herbs de Provence, uh, which is a mixture of herbs and spices together. Um, and, and I also want to make sure I give a shout out to my tech back there in the back, uh, and they are just rocking it out. So I just want to say thanks to you guys. Uh, and I'll talk to you guys about that in a little bit. So, uh, I want a little salt and pepper. Now, to be honest with you, this is not a good look. Most of the time people we try to, for the most part, it's just, is going to hit the top and not really go anywhere. 
So I'm going to hold that. The pepper, you can do the same thing, but it doesn't really do anything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a little bit of my herb oil and using the same ingredients and just hit it once or twice. And then I'm going to do uh, on here real quick because I like onion. So I'm sure you use a claw. Um, so there you go. Um, so just add a little more onion to that. Um, and that's the way that you do not cut your hand. Do, do not cut your hand, Regina. I'm going to try that uh, later on. I'm going to don't do that. No, I guys um, just so like you. I'm going to mix this together. <laughs> oh, of course you do. I'm mean, just like you. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> uh, me neither. Me neither. <laughs> so now this one going on the pan, just like that. Um, oh, now tell me that doesn't look good. Now it's that, that I do good. it the right way. Now this is where you add your salt. You do your salt. And this way, I do it like this because I know I'm going to get it all over the 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 uh, the protein, the cabbage, and then a little bit of pepper. Now, this is the part that really, really gets me excited. I'm going to take, now because it's the ladies of the alpha, I use my green top today. Little hot sauce right on top. All right. Just a little bit. Not too much. Well, and well, then, I to then, I, to, I, I love contrast. <laughs> yeah. Then I'm going to take the honey, the same honey we had before, and do just a little drizzle. It's not too much, right. but you do that. And then, are you ready? So just like that, shake it up a little bit. Are you guys seeing that? I'm going to pan so you guys can see that. A little, yes. A little bit. So, and then because of TV, Lord Jesus, I, I clap my, my hand. <laughs> and magic. My earpiece went into the oven. I just want to let you guys know. Uh, <laughs> it almost got real. I'm not even going to try to, and, and, and then it burnt my ear because I was trying to be cute, like it didn't happen. No, and it hit the no, oven and it almost burnt, burnt my yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, your Brussels sprouts. Look at that right there. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. 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 As my sister in law said, when she, yes, yes, yes. And with that, I'm going to add just a little bit of. Herbs right on top. And ladies and gentlemen, that is that are just delicious. And you see the little chips and stuff. Yes. The nice and crispy. Oh my gosh. That's delicious. So yes. How so long I just want to say it? Regina. Oh, you cook it for 25. It just depends on your temperature. 390 degrees for about 25. Um, everybody's oven is different. So gauge it at about 22 minutes. Take it out, see how it is. You know, don't try to stir it too much because it's going to form like a steam over crust. Yeah. Not either. You see my plate, do never put anything on top of each other. So, and so, um, uh oh, it was delicious, but herbs and spices, praise the Lord. <laughs> yes. So I just want to say, I just want to say, Regina, it's been amazing cooking with you today. Uh, Thank you please, for having me. You're an amazing, amazing person. You're an amazing wife, mother, friend, and I'm honored to know you. Um, ladies and gentlemen, do you have anything to say about anything you have coming up real quick before you head out? Um, just happy Thanksgiving to everybody. And I know we want to gather as families and come together, but let's not have the last supper, okay? Let's uh, let's socially distance. And let's, let's, you know, practice, <laughs> let's do the right thing. And um, let's let's try to keep everybody safe. Wear your mask, wash your hands, and socially distance. And cook healthy. And use my friend Chef Daniels because he's amazing. He can make uh -huh. stuff that you hate taste great. Oh, you should coin that. Hey, if I, I can make stuff that you hate. Come on, I'm a coin. <laughs> hey, I, I, my people 
Y'all yeah, listening, go ahead, because I don't want anybody on here trying to take it from me, okay? Just, uh, <laughs> thanks so much. We love you, Regina. Thank you so much. I love you and so I much. Can't wait Thank to you. stay safe, okay? You too. Thanks so very much, Roddy. So, ladies and gentlemen, wasn't that fantastic? Having the Regina Bell come in. Um, amazing. She's fantastic. I've been taking care of her and Ivy for some time. Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh oh. Hello. Another call. Hello. You want to show some love and the divine nine and the caregivers? Oh. Well, if that's the case, I say come on in. Well, you know what, ladies and gentlemen. I have another treat for you all today, and I'm so excited about this treat for you all because this is one, uh, another one of my favorite clients that I love to take care of, who I've taken care of for some years. Uh, she's phenomenal. You see her, and you see her just rocking out all over the place. That was my, that was my drumstick. Uh, give it up for the, the illustrious E. Come on, somebody. <laughs> They have not to some of that. I hear people they sh shouting and clapping and screaming. What's going on, Sheila? Nothing. I was watching a little bit of Regina. I just caught the, the end of it. It's amazing to see her. You're uh yeah, you keep cutting out. I don't know why. I don't know if it's my connection or yours. But anyway, it was awesome to see her and what you cooked for her. That's But you're always good at what you do. Hello. Oh, well, I appreciate that. You know, I try. I try. Uh, <laughs> hopefully you guys can hear me. I just want to make sure before we start, do I have a good connection? Um, just talking to the producer real quick. Have a good connection. Yeah. Uh uh, am I cutting now? Can they hear me right now? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna get started. Sheila, how have you been? What have you been doing? Like, you know, it's uh, like you you crushing it. Uh, you together. You have some stuff coming out. Um, I'm just I, I know you just dropped a single. Not. Yeah, you were cutting out. I don't know. You said drop a single. Uh, you left us. I said you not too long ago. Oh yeah, uh, I dropped a couple of singles this year during the pandemic. But the latest one that I just dropped are with three young girls, Sarah, mm -hmm. uh, Geneva, and Cheetah, and, and we, did, we did the song "Little Drummer Boy" and made it "Little Drummer Girl," which I think is pretty pretty cool um, because there are drummer girls wow. and we want to play, and it was pretty awesome to to play the song. So I sent them the tracks, and then. Uh, I said, just take your phone and just videotape mm -hmm. playing, and that's all you have to do. And then we put, we edited. Michael edited the video together, and and we put it out. So I just want to let everybody know: if you get Little Drummer Girls with a Z, Little Drummer Girls, if you purchase that song, all of the proceeds go to the three young ladies for their education. So please support them. We would appreciate that. Give me that right there. Give me that. Ah. <laughs> Look at that. So, <laughs> yeah, I still have it. Oh, uh -huh. cool. this album yeah. drop. That is awesome. Look at that. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. So, I had that for, that for some time. That's not going anywhere. That's one thing that she gave me a long time ago. Uh, I can't do what she does, but. So I was wondering, can you cook with me real quick? Can you make a dish or two before you head out? I don't have anything ready. Oh, no, it's okay. I'm going to cook for you. Please do. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. Hey, here we go. Um, I just want to show you guys, show you what I, what we've done so far. We've did the garlic and the, and the onions and the herbs of Provence. Um, and then we have the sweet potato with the pecans and raisins and uh, just just heavenly bar. Uh, and so we're excited. 
So uh, I want to do another one um, because I want to keep it simple. Yeah, I want to keep it simple. And you look so amazing. Um, so amazing. Uh, and I, I want to keep it simple. Um, Thank you. Because you work out, you're constantly making sure you take care of yourself. I'm going to do potatoes, ribless potatoes. So first, so now you're going to see they're a little wet because... Uh, work for them. If your potatoes are turning brown, uh, you have to put them in water and then uh, submerge them in water. You can't just put them in after you cut them because once you cut them, they do something called oxidation, which is oxidized, which hits it. It starts to turn uh, dark colors. So uh, some of this white onion that we have here, um, that's going to give it a look. Um, and so then... I have just a little bit of more herbs de Provence. I have a little bit of thyme. Mm. And then I have a little bit of this rosemary. Ooh, the mm. rosemary. And then adding a little bit of uh, this uh, garlic powder. I'm adding garlic powder because if you add garlic into it before it goes in the oven, it's gonna burn. And so mm. you don't like burnt stuff. I know that for sure. I like a uh, I, like a I always make sure I put it in there. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're like, right, right, right. And so, uh, and you can hear me, right, She? You can hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. So, and then I'm going to add just a little bit of herb oil just to hit it one time. Now, I'm not adding a lot. I'm just making sure that it's okay. Just a little bit. I'm going to stir it. Mm. Mm. And for those of you all who are just, just tuning in, first we had, so now we have, we are rocking, we are live, this is Chef Dean Live, here with AARP and Alpha Cap Sorority Incorporated. And I just want to give one more shout out to the international president, Dr. Glenda Glover, who is a rock star, and you guys are uh, awesome. She's a true rock star. She's also a president of a, uh, of a college as well. So showing her it's amazing love. Um, so you toss this in here just like this. Ooh, look at that right there. Mm, mm, mm. Won't he do it? Praise his name. And and one thing that I say, I say about she is that if, uh, when we're getting ready for her to go on stage, uh, and most of my clients, but especially her, we all come together and we grab hands and pray. Um, so I, I'm keeping it nonpartisan, the whole nine yards, not adding, but I'm just showing love because she does that. Um, okay. We're gonna add just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and we're gonna stick this thing in the oven, 400 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes. Um, shake it just like, oh, look at that right there. Lord have mercy. Uh, that's just, mm, mm. So I'm gonna put it into my magic oven because when I put it back in, All right, here we are. Damn. Look at this right here. That looks amazing. That looks I mean, that is, uh, and, and, the, and the best part about it is, yeah, and that's for you. I'll make sure I send you some this year for, for Thanksgiving. But the best part about this dish is that when you look at all dishes, when it comes to mashed potatoes, you have to add a lot of milk. You have to add a lot of cream. You have to add a lot of butter, salt, and pepper. This is simple. It's flavorful. It's herbs and spices. And the best part is that you can put it into a container. So caregivers and stuff like that. Uh, not stuff like that. My mom said, don't say stuff like that. So let's, let's scratch <laughs> that. For caregivers, make sure that you put this. <laughs> make sure that you put your, uh, your item. Make sure you send them on their way. It holds very well, especially when you heat it back up. So uh, that's that. So yeah, so that's the roasted red mashed potatoes, a little bit of red pepper flakes to add some spice to it. Um, and, and it's just, and just a little more pepper. Whew. So what's your favorite thing to eat for, uh, for, for Thanksgiving? Uh, I love the turkey. I love the turkey, yeah. Oh, you, you love the turkey. Okay. Yeah. 
And yeah. is it, and, and how do you, what do you like on yours? Is there a cultural thing that you, do you do? What do you do with your turkey? Um, most of the time I put it in a bag when, and, and uh, put it in the oven, but as far as spices and stuff, I put a lot of garlic inside the cavity, celery, um, let's see, onions, uh, a big stick of butter, and mm -hmm. um, salt and pepper and everything. But before I do that, I rub it down with honey. I rub the whole turkey down with honey. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay, <laughs> she. Okay, chef she. <laughs> you all stay here. He is going to have a cookbook out yeah, coming your way next year. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, now, and yeah. while you do, so, I want to uh, so, share. So very quick. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. No, you I was going to say, yeah, I want to share with you while you're putting this next dish together is uh, for those of you. Uh, yeah, I mean, of course. He's been with me forever. And he's just an amazing guy, as you can tell, and very funny. And he's a frustrated musician, uh, but he can play everything, drums, piano, he does it all. So we have a great time when he's out on tour with us. So we're, he and I are actually going to do a couple of episodes, me cooking in my kitchen, because I have a new TV show coming out called Sheila ETV, which will be on YouTube and my website. And it'll be coming out on my birthday, December 12th. So Jeff will come in and do a little something, something for my birthday. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, we sure are. It's going to be a great time. You know I'm on the way. You know. I'm a hat, but I'm telling you, if I get on the plane, I'm wearing a motorcycle helmet. Everything mask inside is going to be crazy. I'm going to have a, my own oxygen tank. It's, uh, <laughs> but no, send me a private jet. Don't worry. Send me a jet. Okay. No problem. <laughs> there, there we go. No problem. There you go. See, it's, it's, I tell you, you take care of your client. Hey, so this next dish, real quick. Um, matter of fact, while this is heating up, I wanted to show you all something very quickly. This is heating up, and it's going to take about. But I want to show you very quickly a a that we have here. Everybody is so used to doing. Um, turkey every year um, and it's just I want to show you how to do something very simple um, a, 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 a turkey everybody doesn't eat meat so something you can do easily um, utilizing the same spices um, a little bit of herbs a little bit of uh, salt and pepper uh, not too much and some dill some, you see that dill there oh my gosh dill on a sandwich Ooh, I love dill I love dill and and then what happens is you put just a little bit of uh, lemon right on top. And as it cooks, it's going to actually start to shrink the lemon and then start to allow some of the juices to flow inside the, the piece of salmon, which is going to be so remarkably delicious. So are you ready for my magic oven? Here we go. I've been cooking all day. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's a... Uh, <laughs> Here we are. We're going to just add. Here we are. Yeah. Oh. For you that looks amazing. Here, here's some extra dill. And then here, we're going to just make sure that people, I'm going to just add, got to make it sexy. Gotta, so with that, with that there, that's, this is hot. We're going to just make sure we add this here. Ah. Oh. We add this here. Right. And we add this here. And then make sure we make it even look even more beautiful. And add time on the size class because you all are all are first I show you guys love. So yes. So that's your salmon in case you guys want to do something different other than that. Um, so, and then just to make sure, and the, and the last thing, because you're going to cook the last dish with me before we head out of here, um, I wanted to show people, if you wanted to do something just to, ooh, that's hot, do something just a little bit different. I also made something very simple for you all. I actually made you all a, a 
a turkey breast. If you all do not feel comfortable making the whole turkey, you do not have to make the whole turkey breast and keep it simple. And you slice it and it's just, and I did an herb crust on it and I put some love and I, and I put in the same stuff that I put on Shirley E's food, which is a whole lot of loving. And I got <laughs> some garlic and herbs and spices and cooked it. And temperature is 165 degrees. It just looks and tastes delicious. It's juicy. You can see the juice. 165. Just make sure you let it, so make sure your thermometer reads that. So, so does that look good for you? That looks incredible. Thank you. Send it over. You're more than welcome. Yeah, the last dish that we're, that we're doing is, I'm going to show you all with my last couple of minutes. I'm going another vegetable that we're going to do. We're going to add just a little bit of herb oil in here. I wanted to make sure that you all got to see um, green beans, French cut green beans, heavy Um, And those are sounding nice if it's sizzling. It's a good to mix in with it and just put a little bit of drizzle on top, a little bit of oil on top as it's going. And then just a little bit of garlic. Oh, <clears throat> that looks good. And then to finish it off, just a little bit. Of this slice, uh, squash, zucchini, is just give it some color and some extra girth and just mix it up. Ooh. And just add just a little bit of spices. Now, what I like to do with mine is add, just to give it a little spice. Now, everybody can't eat that, so that's... Mm. And all you have to do is just cook it for five minutes. But for show purposes... All right, for show purposes, uh, it's gonna look just like this, except we're gonna just put it into this bowl, these amazing vegetables. Oh. Mm, mm. Look at that. Let's add some of these pieces of garlic and asparagus. Ooh, does that make you hungry yet, Sheila? Uh, I'm starving. <laughs> That looks amazing. Uh, that's right up my alley. Right up your alley. Sorry. Uh oh. Don't fall. Okay. And so, so is that right up your alley, she? Yes, that looks incredible. Look at that, the colors and the taste. So I know I what it's going to say. So, tastes phenomenal. And the, the hungry, hungry people behind these cameras and lights and stuff, they're going to be eating real soon. But, Sheila, is there anything you want to say uh, about caregiving to uh, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority for putting on this amazing impact? That no, I, I do want to say that, you know, thank you so very much for what you're doing, caregiving, caregivers, it's, that's a hard and challenging place to be. And you have to have a heart for that. So thank you for that. I have uh, some friends now that are doing the same thing and, it, and it's challenging for them. So, you know, God bless you all, oh, my gosh. And that's, that's heavy duty. Um, thank you for all that you do and uh, AARP as well. And, um, and who else did you say? I'm sorry, I missed one. No, AKA and the entire Divine Nine. So all the Greek organizations are all here. As oh, well. that's and awesome. Every, and the family and friends and everybody else who's watching. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, congratulations. Watching nice who, to but we want to make sure we pay homage to, yeah, we just want to make sure we, we're in, and the best part is that AKA, uh, they're utilizing, it, you know, uh, aspects like food and things like this to help bring uh, country back together again, uh, to help pushing you forward because at the end of the day, uh, we're all nonpartisan, uh, and we all have to make sure that the people who ha are the most at risk we have to take care of. 
And so we just want to make sure we show love to all of them, all the caregivers and all their, and I just show some respect. So uh, that's why I bought in the amazing Sheila E to show love to you all. We thank you so much, Sheila E, for showing up and coming out uh, so much. Love you. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. And, and, and God bless everyone. Love Take you care too. of yourself. Mm. Take care of yourself, everyone. Eat well. Take care of yourself. Bye. We'll do. Bye-bye. See you later. And so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're close to 8 to 15. I personally just want to say it's a pleasure taking care of you all. Uh, uh, we've really Really did an amazing clean kitchen. Uh, it's not a whole lot of mess, uh, uh, but we have amazing. Understand that caregiving is, is not for everybody. It, it's, it's, it's a calling on your life. Uh, it's very hard. It's very tough. But just make sure that you do respect the aspect that there are a lot of caregivers that are out there that are struggling and that it's, it's hard because it's not just a physical aspect of caregiving. It's a mental aspect in caregiving because you have to sit there, put your feelings to the side and be happy, be joyful. You have to make them laugh. You have to make them uh, uh, want to feel like there's, uh, because at the end of the day, they didn't ask to be in a situation giving of care. So you have to make sure that you show love to them, even the caregivers out there. Understand that they, they, they some people can't use the bathroom on their own and they could before. It takes showing love to all the caregivers out there, showing love to all the people who, who are, are in pushing, keep fighting, Keep rocking out because at the end, we need you. We love you all. And I also made you guys a nice apple pie. Uh, and I made sure that in the crust, I made sure that if you all can see it, it has AKA right on top to show up to the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. So I just want to say it's been a true honor and a pleasure uh, taking care of you all. My name is Chef Daniel Thomas. I'm your culinary creator for the world's most powerful appetites. It's an honor to take care of uh, presidents and senators and Congress and celebrities, but caregiving is really where my heart is. So I just want to say thank you to AARP. Thank you to the AKA and Sorority Incorporated. Also, thank you to the entire Divine Nine and everybody that joined. Make sure you uh, check me on social media. Instagram is at Chef D.W. Thomas. Twitter at Chef D.W. Thomas and my book at Chef Daniel Thomas. It's been a true honor, you guys. And I can't wait because some great things are happening. Thank you again, AARP, and all of you all. Take care, enjoy your evening, and wait for these messages from AKA. Thank you, guys. Wow. Let's give Chef Daniel a round of applause. That was absolutely amazing. We want to thank everybody for joining in this um, amazing presentation. You have some alternatives uh, for cooking thanks your Thanksgiving meal. Uh, most of the time, it's the caregivers who are who are responsible for making the meals. The aunties, the sisters, the daughters are in the kitchen cooking this laborious meal. So this year, um, treat yourself kindly. Uh, you don't have to to do it the way that you've done it in the past. And as has been reiterated several times tonight, uh, please uh, stay, stay safe and socially distance. And how about Regina Bell and Sheila E. coming in? And don't forget that Sheila E. told us to get the little drama girls. I just love that. So um, we are... Um, down at the end of the program. Uh, and what we would like for you to do is um, we want you to join all of us live on the National Panhellenic Council Facebook or YouTube uh, pages on November 23rd at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for an exciting evening for the stories of the Queen honoring the life and legacy of Henrietta Lacks uh, via webinar. Our international president, Dr. Glenda Glover, along with other special guests, will discuss the legacy of Henrietta Lacks. Uh, also, we are asking that you complete a brief post-event survey so we can learn more about your thoughts and about 
the All of Us Research Program. And if you want to learn more, just go to the post assessment site that is screening, uh, strolling on your screen right now. Your responses will be kept confidential and secure. The link, the link to take the survey is in the chat box as well. For the host organization, select Black Greek Ladder Consortium, BGLC, NPHC, ORGS. Please look at the following video of our BGLC team in action over the last nine months. Thank you so very much. Have a good night. We wish each of you a happy Thanksgiving and remind everyone to stay safe by wearing a mask, washing your hands, and remaining six feet apart. Good evening.